30 years in prison by a US federal court in New York after he was found guilty of sexually abusing women, boys and girls for decades. The 55-year-old singer was convicted of all nine counts against him in the sex trafficking trial which took place in September. Our North America correspondent Neda Taufik was in court and sent this report. R. Kelly's victims were ignored and vilified for years, mainly black Americans who felt their voices weren't valued. This sentence means everything to them. There wasn't a day in my life up until this moment that I actually believed that the judicial system will come through for black and brown girls. I stand here very proud of my judicial system, very proud of my fellow survivors, and very pleased with the outcome. 30 years did he do this, and 30 years is what he got. I never thought that I would be here to see him be held accountable for the atrocious things that he did to children. I don't know what else to say except that I'm grateful. I'm grateful for today. I believe I can fly. His star power was his shield. He used his inner circle to exploit minors, women, and men. They all came from varied backgrounds, but were similar in their adoration for Kelly. Once under his control, he required them to follow a degrading set of rules. They had to call him daddy, and they weren't permitted to leave their rooms for any reason without his permission. He also directed every aspect of the sexual abuse with him and others, and recorded many of the instances. For years, his crimes were an open secret, including his marriage to the late R&B singer Aaliyah when she was just 15 years old and he 27. The stories from a documentary called Surviving R. Kelly stunned the public and led to calls to mute his music. It also shone a light on an industry said to be rife with harassment and abuse. The music industry has just not even begun to have its reckoning. It isn't just one person who's like a skeevy predator. It's the scaffolding, it's the system, it's the star machine. R. Kelly's legacy will no longer be defined by his voice. He'll forever be remembered as a sexual predator. Neda Taufik, BBC News, New York.